In this video, we are going to set up desktop environment in an EC2 instance and that too not uh, by manually creating it but rather using a Cloud Formosa template. So the Cloud Formosa template will have the user data that will have steps to install all those things that are needed. It will also have a uh, Fuzzy Web Server installed to show the status when things are being installed. And uh, let me show you the Cloud Formosa template that I have. So this is the one we have the VPC with the CIDR subnet and subnet to subnet to is not being used here. I just did it because I was trying to uh, see uh, how multiple subnets creation works. So that's why I have added it. And this is our EC2 instance. This is using an image ID. This one, this is a Ubuntu instance. It's using key to micro. This is my key pair name. This one you will need to change based on whatever key pair you have created already or if you need to create a new one you can either name it same thing kb1 or whatever you change i mean whatever you name change it uh, in this place this is the user data and this user data i have uh, this is the original user data then and here whatever you are seeing is the base 64 encoded version of it so here you can see i'm doing, making an update installing apache 2 starting apache 2 and in the beginning uh, right after setting up the Apache, I'm, uh, I'm putting this data in the HTML file. What it is doing, it is creating a h1 tag and it says please wait while startup script completes and in the script tag what it is doing, it is reloading this page every one second and with every reload, uh, the color of the text please wait while uh, uh, startup script completes changes. So this RGB value, I'm getting random values and varies between 0 to root 5 and using those I'm creating a color and displaying this text in that color so that while it reloads it's visible that uh, it is still waiting for the setup to complete while this is being served other steps run this is uh, the dependencies or the software required for setting up the VNC server XFC, XFC for goodies and tight VNC server these were installing then on top of it after uh, we are into the desktop environment we also need browser like chrome so this uh, these steps these three lines 28 29 30 is doing that it is installing chrome browser then uh, here i'm trying to uh, write or document these the steps that are needed after that so there are some min minimal manual work needed after the cloud formation runs or it's completes and that is first time when uh, uh, all these things are installed we still need to set up the password for vnc server and that requires manual entry because the password you need to enter so i'm just uh, adding this uh, prompt or uh, information for the user to run vnc server command after doing a first time ssh and then from your local machine where you have the vnc client or the vnc viewer you need to run this one to create a tunnel to that IP and port where the server is running. Okay, so so basically it is running a uh, through port 22 secure. It's making secure connection to access that VNC server. And uh, this is again same thing. I'm echoing to this file. So user can either read this tunnel vnc.ss file. They can run it to see the content. This is nothing but it is just telling to do these two things. First, uh, do an SSH run VNC server and then run this command from your local machine to tunnel at port 5901 to connect to your VNC server then same thing I am writing in the HTML also so whatever the Apache 2 server that we were running in its HTML I am updating the content it, so while it is reloading once it will reach at this point the HTML will get updated it will say VNC is we are setup done and then this thing it will show same thing, now it will uh, tell the user to run the VNC server command by doing SSH to the instance. It also posts the public IP that was generated. And then uh, this second step is to run this one SSH, this thing to connect to your instance. And finally, this is uh, IP and 5.0.1, this we need to enter in the VNC viewer. So let me start creating the stack and uh, yeah so we'll go to cloud formation 
create a stack template is ready load a template and choose the file next i name is anything s1 it requires nothing nothing is required you can have a uh, click this one and delete all newly created resources in case of any other regardless of their attached deletion policy although we don't have any deletion policy in our current template but still it's a good practice to use this if you are just testing it next acknowledge submit now from this point it will take some time so i'll have to pause the video in between and then show you the progress so let me pause for one minute and then we'll resume network acl is completed still some steps are pending and uh, here you can see the date is 29 february and we are already at 11:59. so in one minute it will change let me pause again and it will come back come back in one day so we are into march now still it's waiting okay now we see to with vnc that is creation in progress i think now if we go to ec2 console we'll be able to see so running is zero at this point okay let's wait a few more seconds okay now this tag creation is complete if i refresh this you see it's running but initialization is still happening but still i can copy since we have the apache server running so we'll be able to know the status from here also uh, right now looks like even the apache is not yet ready we'll keep it loading so now this is the home page even before our first HTML change took place this is what it shows now this is our first change so it it says please wait while startup script completes and it's changing the color now to take almost one to two minutes from here so i pause for a while and resume okay so now it is ready it took more than two minutes now i can see run pnc server in the ac2 instance this is the public ip and uh, this is we have to run for our local machine and then we have we can connect using this address so let me start with connecting to the ec2 instance connect okay so we are here and clear it let's say vnc server first command it asked me a password setup is done next We'll copy this one and make sure you run it in this from the same directory where you have this kp1.em file in your local. I have it here, so I'm running it from here. It's done. I am connected to the instance. Now, if I go to my VNC server, I can just I have already added a local host. Okay, so sorry, I think this one I need to update here. It says port and 5901. We need not need not connect to this one we can directly connect with localhost because we have already created a tunnel so i will update this one and that's how i am doing it here uh, one second continue and this is how the ct instance launched if i click on this one that will launch our chrome browser okay don't sign in So that's it. I'll keep this uh, platforms in different one of my Git repo and I'll share it in the description of this video. Thanks.